outlines the potential economic development impact, as well as the priorities outlined in the local waterfront revitalization plan, and he called it a logical course of action. Mr. Parment's a native of this community and a longtime elected official, and he was a great help during the process. County Executive Greg Edwards supported us, and he outlined the importance of tourism in our economy, the benefits provided by having a four-season facility, and the winter hub that Mayville has become for snowmobilers, skiers, and outside recreational activities. Chairman Keith Alstrom from the legislature stated that Mayville is the gateway to Chautauqua Lake and Chautauqua Institution. County IDA Director William Daly cites the fact that recreational activities constitute the second largest component of our local economy in terms of dollar impact and jobs created. I mean, let's face it, we're a tourism industry here. We really don't have anything other than tourism in this community. So we need to do things to, to build that up. The Mayville Chautauqua Chamber indicates that the community center is the next critical element under the village comprehensive plan. The Mayville July 4th committee boasts attendance of 25,000 visitors to the annual celebration. And having this facility will permit them to enhance exhibits from veterans, historic, civic, and educational providers. This new facility also permits people who were previously prohibited from attending to come to the 4th of July celebration because now we have a facility that's ADA compliant and accessible for those that need to use a facility. One person who deserves huge accolades is our very own Judge Dave Narducci. Mr. Narducci, outside of his capacity as the town judge, is also a retired engineer who graciously donated his talents to bring this project to reality. Mr. Narducci was born, was on the board <clears throat> during the design stages and essentially created what you see here today. Not only did he spend countless hours at his computer, he was here every day of the project serving as clerk of the works. Even after having knee replacement, Dave created a daily activity log in unbelievable detail, complete with photographed and exact counts of the number of people on site from each of the trades that were working. He did so as a service to the community and he never wavered during any of the process. To this day, he's still working tirelessly on our behalf, ensuring the punch list issues are dealt with, the billing is accurate, and the facility is operating as it should. Can't thank you enough, Dave. You really, you took the bull by the horns and got the job done. The support of our current village board, Deputy Mayor Tim Jacobson, like I said, the grants, who's the grandson of Ira Davis, Trustee Rick Cyper, Warren Ramaker, and Jim Roach, Village Clerk John Crandall, Village Treasurer Joyce Matthews, DPW Superintendent John Buxton, Electric Supervisor Bill Thompson, and our Code Enforcement Officer Mike Brown, and each and every village employee who continue to show great pride in not only this project but the community as a whole, thank you very much. Because, let's face it, I'm the mayor, but it's the people that work for you and work with you that make things happen. And without all these people working together, this wouldn't be a reality. So I may be standing up here talking right now, but you're the ones that deserve all the praise because you did all the hard work. Our village attorney, Mike Bolander, has worked diligently to secure grant funding for not only this project, he's also secured $82,000 for repairs on the old depot, and we have a trail grant of $519,000 that we're working very, very hard to try to get it to a point where we can start spending the money. Mike's efforts and his compassion have essentially benefited every person who lives, works, plays, or vacations in our village. He's been a true partner in our vision and we owe him a great debt of gratitude. We continue to strive to enhance the open and free access to this park. We are currently working on a grant for a band shell. In 
fact, I handed Mr. Thomas a, a copy of the grant application this morning. Um, our vision now is to put a band shell down here to further enhance the not only the Bluegrass Festival, but any, but any other events that may want to come here. Um, and like I said, this is what we're all about. It's, it's tourism based and we want to have those facilities. If the funding is secure, it will greatly contribute to the features offered here and will complement each and every current event as well as generate potential future use. The 1934 board, along with Mayor Carlson, had a vision, and they most definitely had insight and forethought about the future of this community. On February 16th, the contractor moved on site here, and on July 4th, we had the first celebration, which was the July 4th national holiday. Since that time, there has been a continual awareness of the facility, and requests are still being made for reservations into this fall. It gives me great pride to officially name this facility the Carlson Community Center, as was passed by resolution by the Village Board on September 8th of this year. Andrew Carlson, family members of Andrew Carlson, thank you, thank you very much. The hard work that started in 1934 has allowed this community to have a gem. There are no words eloquent enough to pay tribute to this vision. Thank you again and God bless everyone. We're going to um, call on uh, Mr. Thomas now. He would like to make a few comments the program over to him. Thank you, Marty, and all folks gathered here today. This is an exciting day in Mayville and in Chautauqua County. On behalf of Governor David Patterson and my boss, Commissioner Carol Ash, it is a joy to stand here this morning in this building, in, in this community of Mayville, community that has continually demonstrated throughout history that it has roots deep in its past but vision which keeps it moving forward and addressing the realities of the not only the present but the future. You have built an outstanding facility here and state parks with our environmental protection fund grants which helped fund this particular project. We are able to help communities do exactly what Mayville has demonstrated it can do. It's an exciting opportunity that the grant funds are available to communities, but most communities never step forward, like Mayville has, to even seek those grant funds. And it is very special for us here in the, in the Western District of State Parks, but also in the Allegheny region. My regional director, Mike Michnikowski, and Lynn Lefebvre, who administers the grant program for us here, who are tireless in their efforts to work with communities too make sure that we get these parks, environmental protection funds, into the hands of communities that can make a difference with them. So we look for communities that are able to not only have vision, but are willing to partner with us. And the third thing is that they get the projects done, and they get them done well. And when you drive by this facility here, you look at it from the road, it's stunning. It catches your eye. You want to pull in and see it. That's exactly what a recreation facility should be about. It should be a magnet to draw people in who just are curious or want to find out what Mayville has to offer. You, you captured that with the design of the building and the fact that you put so much of your village workforce's time and effort into as part of the contribution to the financial effort is also a very good part of demonstration to state parks, state of New York, that the community is engaged and involved in this and wants to put its own sweat equity into the Thing, the projects as well. We truly want to thank you for being the tremendous partners you are in recreation service delivery for not only the generation that's here, but the generations that are going to come through here long after everyone in this room has moved on to another place. Thank you once again. We appreciate the commitment to providing community recreation services and facilities to make that happen in this community and in Chautauqua County. 
Thank you so much. And